What's going on everybody? This will just be an overview of the app that we will be creating. The app is called classifyanimals.com. So let's head on over to the app. When we go to classifyanimals.com, we are presented with the image of an animal eye, and it's asking us to bucket it into one of the seven distinct buckets here. The buckets are a bird, carnivore, rodent or marsupial, primate, hoofed mammal, reptile, or other. If we scroll down, we see the instructions. You start off with three prediction hints, and that's the machine learning model predicting what it thinks the uh, image classification should be, and three full image hints. So these animal eye images are actually just subsets of a larger image, and this full image is that larger image. So if I click full image here, you see that that eye came from this picture. Now you get three of these. On this right pane here, we see the bucket descriptions. So again, these are seven distinct buckets. There's no overlap. About 8,000 pictures went into the app itself. The carnivores are, I believe, the largest bucket. I think there's around 2,000 images here in the carnivores. That is anything that eats meat. So cats, dogs, foxes, bears, oh my. Um, if you click this button, that hides that pane. On the left pane, we have uh, the user statistics. So the answer history will tell us how many we've gotten right out of how many we answered total. We haven't answered any, so we're zero of zero so far. Um, here's how many prediction hints you have remaining. Something is popping up on my screen. Um, here is how many full image hints you have remaining. So I use that one image hint to show you there was three. It automatically updates to two. Um, and then the number of correct answers in a row. And so this entire front end is made in React. The back end is a Flask API. It's an API that shows, uh, will generate the prediction for us. So if I click show prediction here, this looks like some kind of lemur, I believe, um, which is a primate. The um, model predicts a primate here. So when we press submit, we get the name of the animal, the order of the animal, and then a little blurb about the animal, which is all coming from that Flask API. We're going to break this tutorial down into five different parts. Um, by the end of the fifth, you'll know how to build the entire web application. The first part is just going to be the image handling. Um, that's all going to be in Python, grabbing the actual eye from all these images. The second part is going to be um, all in Google Colab. It's actually creating the model itself. We're going to use a neural network model. Google Colab allows us to use some GPUs, which makes the training a lot faster. The third part will be building the Flask API, uh, embedding that model. The fourth part will be the React app, so what you saw on the screen, uh, reaching out to the Flask API in the back end. Um, it's also connected to an S3 bucket on AWS to get the images. Uh, the fifth part will be, and the last part will be um, just how to deploy it. We're going to use AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Um, other tutorials that I'll do, other series will use other parts of AWS to deploy, but on this one we're going to use Elastic Beanstalk. Uh, I'm excited to show you how to build a machine learning application from end to end. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the, the YouTube videos and uh, I'll do my best to respond. Uh, all right, I'm out. That's going to be my sign off. I'm out.